So about two days ago, we went to the local TV in Malaysia and it's called <laughs> Awani Pagi. <laughs> Awani Astro Awani Pagi. Astro Awani Pagi, yes. So it was the first time for us on the TV. Yeah, first how time. You, how you felt about it? Oh my god, very nervous. So that stressed. Was, my god. So stressed. <laughs> the whole day. But very excited as well. It was an amazing experience. And um, what I wanted to say is um, we would like to say thank you again to our sponsors. So we've got uh, Lankawi Pure Lankawi Pure over here and iWealth uh, Global as well that sponsor us the, the laptop that you saw on the previous uh, video so thank you again very very much from them so now we're gonna let you watch our interview on the TV just to let you know that it's half English half yes. Malay so hope you like it guys see you on the next video Awani pagi bersama saya Nur Syah Zawani Safisham dan juga Hakim Rahman dan saya nak tanya Hakim lah kan apa agaknya perkara yang Hakim sanggup lakukan demi untuk menunjukkan rasa kasih dan juga sayang anda kepada alam sekitar ni Hakim jaga alam sekitar jaga kebersihan hmm. lah. ha. eh itu je <laughs> itulah yang sanggup maksudnya oh, maksud ada ada usaha lain yang lagi sanggup recycle ah. tanam-tanam bersihkan jangan buang sampah Betul. basic lah basic, basic. sedaran okay, civic lah ada ha. tapi sebenarnya <laughs> saya nak tanya Hakim jugalah adakah Hakim sanggup sebenarnya untuk berjalan kaki beratus-ratus kilometer demi alam sekitar ah. Ah. Sanggup. Saya pergi kedai depan jalan boleh lah. Untuk, untuk buat sampah pun boleh lah. Ha, boleh. Berjalan untuk buat Tapi sampah kalau lah. nak 200km tu ha. full marathon pun saya tak pernah buat. <laughs> Mungkin <laughs> boleh cubalah. Tapi inilah yang sanggup dilakukan oleh pasangan suami dan isteri ni yang bakal berjalan kaki kira-kira 530km. Full marathon pun kalah ni Hakim. Ni dari mana ha. ni? Dari Kuala Lumpur ha. ke Langkawi bagi meningkatkan kesedaran awam berkenaan dengan kepentingan menjaga alam sekitar. Dan berada uh, di studio bersama kami ketika ini adalah uh, Fiza dan juga Roman yang merup- uh, mereka ini merupakan peserta projek alam sekitar. Selamat datang uh, ke Awani Pagi. Welcome. Thank you. Terima kasih. <laughs> Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi. Good morning. Selamat hari raya. <laughs> Okey, kita nak mulakan dengan Fiza lah. Macam di mana datang idea ni yeah. uh, okay. untuk berjalan 530 km yeah. from KL to Langkawi. Okay. Mana datang idea ni? Idea gila ni daripada ha. Roman ya. Okey. <laughs> sebab uh, Roman uh, dia suka cycling. Uh-huh. Dia okay. sebab during COVID kan, 2 tahun so dia tak dapat pergi mana-mana. Uh-huh. So dia cakap kat ai, ah uh, okey. Kena uh, why not kita do something crazy. Uh-huh. So I cakap What do you mean kan? Mm-hmm. So dia cakap kat I, uh, why not kita berjalan kaki daripada Kuala Lumpur ke Langkawi. Mm-hmm. I cakap, no, <laughs> I tak nak lah. I cakap, panas kot kan? <laughs> so bila I think balik, eh why not we can try okay. untuk create awareness kan? Uh, semua idea ni daripada dia. Uh, dia yang, uh, projek ni memang dia yang bagi idea. Pencetus idea lah. Yeah. Tapi sebenarnya, um, kalau mungkin Fizah boleh uh, kongsikan juga lah. Mungkin sebelum hmm. ini, ada projek-projek uh, alam sekitar ini yang juga terlibat yang menyebabkan okay. tercetusnya idea ini. Okey, ini uh, first time uh-huh. untuk kita orang. Sebab uh, dalam bul- uh, sebelum bulan puasa, kita orang uh, berjalan kaki daripada Eko Ceras ke okay. Botanic Garden. Okey. 14 km. Bulan puasa? Sebelum bulan puasa. Oh, sebelum bulan puasa. Seminggu sebelum bulan puasa. Hmm. So kita jalan kaki so I rasa eh I can make it. Hmm. Why not? At the same time kita orang collect rubbish. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Roman, you seems like you travel a lot from the visual. Yeah. Uh, but did you know that our country is very hot, you know? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure you've been here for quite a while, right? For how, how many years have you been in Malaysia? Uh, four years now. Oh, four, four years, years now. now. Yeah. But before this um, idea uh, that you created you know maybe you can share with us previous efforts that you've done before this you know regarding the preserving the natures so like, i love traveling so i love cycling as well okay. so i think that cycling is a good way to traveling mm. green you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, i've cycled 21000 kilometers across 16 countries mm-hmm. so far mm-hmm. traveled into 40 countries 14 countries 40 40, 40. 40 yeah. wow nice. but 
did your friend and family know about this and how did they respond to this idea? What did they say to you? They were not really surprised because mm. they know that it's been already two years I couldn't go anywhere yeah. because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So when I came up with the idea, they, they knew that I would come with something crazy after two years. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> uh, okay. we're not really surprised. <laughs> How do you convince her? How do you convince Visa? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you said it before. I think you said it before because I, I don't speak Malay yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. But we walk 14 kilometers from Ekoshiras to Lankawi and I said to her, you can just try. And Ekoshiras to Botanic Garden. To Botanic Garden, sorry. No, Lankawi, yeah. yeah oh. So, so Garden, Visa uh, dan Roman ni baru saja berkenalan, uh, baru saja mendirikan rumah tangga atau bagaimana? Uh, kita orang dah berkahwin daripada 2016. Okey. Hmm. Yep. Saya migrate di uh, pe, uh, to New Zealand 2013. Hmm. So okay. sejak daripada uh, perkahwinan itulah mula tercetusnya juga idea-idea gila idea -idea ni. Gila <laughs> ni. Ya. Yeah. Selain daripada tu mungkin sebelum sebelum uh, bulan puasa tu sebelum bulan puasa tu mungkin ada uh, lagi. Uh, kita orang ada a uh, a uh, collect rubbish, kutip sampah dekat Kemen Highland. Morit uh, Morit Beach. Okay. Uh. Itu antara visual-visual yang anda saksikan inilah. Bukit Tumbang. Ah, Bukit Ketumbah Hill. Okay. Kacaras. Okay. Mm. Uh, Roman, tell us more about this, this, these crazy ideas of yours, like walking from Kuala Lumpur to uh, Langkawi. What's the plan? What's what are you so going to do the, along the, the way? The, yeah? the plan is to raise awareness on the environment mm -hmm. in Malaysia because we are living in Malaysia at the moment. And for me and Fiza, it annoyed us to see people throwing rubbish by the window yeah. and... It's kind of a bad, bad, bad culture here, you know. Yeah. But it's, not, it's not only Malaysia, it's, it's worldwide. Yeah. But because we live in Malaysia, we want to raise awareness yeah. on this in Malaysia. Based on the visuals that we see, uh, it's not only the two of you. Uh, no, there yeah. is a team with you guys. Maybe you can share more about this. So the, what we see is um, it's called Lankawi Pure. So okay. the, the, the person that sponsor us uh -huh. uh, have a team as well. So they decided to join us to create more awareness. So the more people we are, the more people will be aware of what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The more impact is going mm -hmm. to happen. The more the merrier. Yeah, the more exactly. the but walking sounds easy. Walking, yeah. But walking from Kuala Lumpur to Langkawi, it's not that easy. Yeah. So, uh, macam mana, Fiza? Uh, oh. how, how, do you, how do you prepare yourself? I mean, jalan sini pergi, depan pun okay. jalan juga. Tapi ni jalan jauh ni, macam mana <laughs> prepare? Jalan, ada jalan ada jauh, few eh? technique that you learn or... or okay. Uh, but once sekarang ni, kita orang training, kita orang punya uh, kaki. Hmm? Kan? Sebab nak pakai kaki hmm. kan? Uh, <laughs> Banyak pakai kaki tu. <laughs> kena pakai kaki. <laughs> um, at least uh, 25 km satu hari. Uh -huh. Oh. So, uh, kita orang jalan tu akan collect rubbish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, kita orang akan start daripada rasa. Rasa? Rasa. Uh -huh. no, uh, bukan daripada Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. Sebab uh, dekat KL tak ada jalan yang untuk berjalan kaki. Mm -hmm. Not friendly lah kan. Mm -hmm. So, kita orang tak nak hit, uh, hit by car ke kan. Uh, so, sebab susah. Mm -hmm. So, daripada rasa kita orang akan turun ke Kuala Lumpur. All the way lah, ikut, ikut jalan, jalan kampung. Uh -huh. uh, bukan highway. Okay. Uh, okay. Untuk, untuk tujuan keselamatan tujuan lah. Tujuan keselamatan, faktor Tapi keselamatan. Ya. Ya. Tapi yeah. lah, 25 km per day, itu per day. that's the plan lah. Yeah. Training lah. That's the, 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 the route for, uh, the distance for the training ataupun for... Uh, di, distance yang kita orang akan jalan. Oh, you plan 25 km satu hari. 25 ataupun 27 km satu hari untuk 23 hari. Oh. Okay, satu hari nak dalam nak dapat 25 km tu, I How many hours? I Berapa jam? I rasa, uh, Have you tried before? Five. I think I think it will take five, around five hours. Five or six lah. Yeah, mm -hmm. five six hours. But we're not gonna walk very fast. You know, it's okay. not like walking, walking and no non-stop. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna start early in the morning because it's last mm. hot. You know. Yeah. So we start walking around seven thirty. We walk okay. for two hours. Mm. Stop, makan, and after we. Oh, makan. 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 makan is very essential. <laughs> and dan dan juga kita nak jumpa uh, kita orang nak jumpa lokal uh -huh. kan along the way. Uh. Tapi uh, what if um, along the way tu ada orang ataupun ada um, individu yang interested to join in you yes. guys. Yes. yes. So are you guys welcome great. to? That would be yes, great. very welcome. Reminds okay. me of this movie uh, Tom Hanks. 
uh, what's yeah. the movie called? Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump. Yeah, when <laughs> he started running and everyone yeah. started following him. Yeah. <laughs> it might happen, no? <laughs> yeah, it might happen. Maybe, maybe Haki will join you guys. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> but before we go, yeah, but before we go through more, um, we want to ask, have you guys done this um, walking from Kuala Lumpur to probably to any other states? Mm. Uh, we've yeah. never done it in oh. Malaysia. Never so this is the first time? Oh, first yeah. time. I see. Mm. I walked long distances in Nepal before. Mm. I went hiking in, in Nepal. So I was walking like around 17 kilometers a day in Nepal. So that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hearing it. It's already tiring for me. So I'm not sure how you guys are going to do it in 23 <laughs> days, right? Yeah, 23. So, so the, plan, the plan is uh, to collect all the rubbish. And what do you do with it? I mean... You collect and put so it in the, the... the company that's going to sponsor us, Lanka We Pure, is going to follow us with a 4W. Mm -hmm. So they're going to give us water, they're going to carry our bag, mm -hmm. and they're going to collect the rubbish that we collect. So they will be with you guys for the next yeah. uh, three days. The next, like, okay, during our walk, they're not be around. Lah. Okay. But uh, the next town, so they will wait. Oh. Was there? They will wait. Oh. Yeah. So they're gonna organize our accommodation and stuff. Accommodation so every day, and food. Every day we will know. How do you guys propose to this sponsorship that you got? Oh, they found us. I yeah. see. Yeah. They found us. They are the one they, who contact yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, because we was uh um they got um FMT mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. World of Bars mm -hmm. and the the Sun Daily. Yeah. Yeah. Itu adalah kuasa viral tu yang mm -hmm. ada ketika di platform media sosial ketika ini. Um, we want to ask more about this effort. Um, are you guys expecting people, you know, uh, the the maybe not only the sponsorship, uh, but people can sponsor to you guys also? Yeah, we have uh, something on our YouTube channel called Buy Me a Coffee. Okay. So if people want to support the project. They can just click on the link and it's like five dollars. Okay, ini buy. adalah um, kalau kita boleh ambil paparan di iPad. Uh, ini adalah link buy me a coffee. Uh, mungkin Fiza boleh cerita lebih lanjut. Bagaimana sebenarnya uh, buy mereka ini? Buy me coffee ini berfungsi ya. Yeah. Okay, buy uh, buy me coffee ini dia uh, okay. Dia ada uh, banyak banyak cawan kat situ. Mm -hmm. So you boleh choose berapa cawan yang you nak. Satu cawan lima uh, dollar. Mungkin dua puluh ringgit satu kopi. So far kita orang dah dapat six. Uh, dalam uh, six kopi. I see. Six uh, kopi uh, dan juga uh, aktivis uh, alam sekitar yang dah transfer kat kita orang dalam lima uh, ratus. Mm -hmm. so Ada sasaran kita, amount? Is there any uh, uh, amount that you guys are yeah, trying to achieve? Four. Buy me coffee, do you think? I think it's a minimum of five. I think minimum of five dollars, I think. Um. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> you don't understand. Okay. So I think it's about 1,000 ringgit. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. We got untuk perjalanan that. selama 23 hari itu? Hmm. Oh, untuk perjalanan yeah. itu, uh, kita orang ambil sponsor untuk food dengan makanan. So kita orang bawa diri sahaja. I see. Oh. Accommodation? Accommodation? Accommodation semua tu masuk. Uh. The sponsor from Langkawi Pure. Yeah. Langkawi Pure and, uh, and then uh, the satu. I wear global sponsor us gears so I need to renew some gears. My laptop was uh -huh. 13 years old. Oh, nice. So I can't edit anymore because I'm doing a lot of videos on YouTube and I can't use my laptop to edit so they sponsor yeah. us a laptop. A laptop. Other than training, what are your other preparations? Mentally? Mentally, physical. Yeah. Uh, the heat. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you guys been doing uh, for the next probably one month to 8th of June? So what are you guys are going to do every day? Squat. Okay. <laughs> Walking. Must, yeah. yeah. And running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To test our stamina. Yeah. Kan? Yeah. Ah. Did, you, did you guys get help from any uh, professional trainer or something? Mm. Or did you just... Tak ada. Tak ada. Tak ada. Bolehlah sponsor ni, tau. trainer nak ni. <laughs> <laughs> Kalau ada trainer yang nak sponsor kita orang, <laughs> boleh juga. <laughs> But okay, there's uh, banyak lagi yang perlu kita uh, bincangkan mengenai idea gila ini. Yeah. Berjalan kaki dari Kuala Lumpur ke Pulau Langkawi, 530 km. Sebab nak kutip sampah. Nampak macam gila, tapi sebenarnya hakikat yang lebih berat, yang lebih pahit untuk kita terima, 
Ramai orang tak ada kesedaran sivik buang sampah mengata-kata. Hmm. Tapi ini mungkin satu usaha untuk memberi kesedaran. Tapi banyak lagi kita nak lihat di sebalik usaha ini apa objektif dan matlamatnya. Tapi kita akan bincangkan bersama Roman dan juga uh, Fiza. Fiza selepas kita kembali daripada lihat pertama ini. Mei ini kepelbagaian pilihan untuk anda. Saya nak buat sekolah dekat kawasan ini. Niat bumi demi masyarakat. Selamat datang ke Mega Star Academy. Belajar dan berhibur. Jadi apa yang kena dia nak? Aktiviti NASA, iktibar dan pengajaran. Adakah mereka dibawa untuk mereka? Misteri penuh keseronokan. Inspirasi untuk anda. Untuk memastikan Malaysia ada ke depan, kita boleh maju. Hentikan spekulasi. Indonesia adalah Melayu pun terpaksa. Ini orang yang membuat action. polisi. Kalau itu yang mereka nak key, fine. Mungkin kita berbeza pandangan. Tapi kita mempunyai kuasa yang boleh menentukan budaya di masa hadapan. Polisi yang mesra wanita, sudah tentu dia akan datang daripada pemimpin wanita. Awal di pagi hari ini kami bincangkan satu topik yang gila. gila. Ha, nak tahu kenapa gila? Kerana Fiza dan Roman yang bersama dengan kami di studio ini akan berjalan dari Kuala Lumpur ke Langkawi sejauh 530 uh, km. Uh, hanya untuk membawa kesedaran berkenaan dengan alam sekitar. Kita nak tanya Fiza terlebih dahulu. Um, pastinya ada satu momen yang membuatkan Fiza ataupun Roman um, tercetusnya idea ini what is the moment that actually opened your eyes to actually you know do this crazy idea for for me is being stuck with covid for two years mm. and not be able to travel because I'm uh, normally every two years I do like a cycling trip mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. every two years or three years and covid just was so hard for me to yeah. be locked and not yeah. be able to go anywhere. So mm-hmm. I said to Fiza, we need to do something. I can't anymore. We need to do something <laughs> crazy. And then we can't stand. Um, okay, the, uh, the moment kita orang duduk dekat Kuala Lumpur kan, kat mana-mana je lah. Uh, even though kalau masa I drive kan, uh-huh. depan I kereta just buang Liter, tisu. Buang sampah je. Buang uh, macam macam. Uh. Buang, uh, you know, especially Water, rokok. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Rokok bat. Okay. Mm. Oh, just buang je. Tanpa rasa bersalah. Mm. So, mm. kalau kita tak ubah, uh, banjir akan melanda. Mm. Yeah. Dekat mm. uh, Malaysia. ya. Yeah? Mm. Mm. Kalau uh, orang kata, apa? kalau kita tak start daripada sekarang, mm. so apa akan jadi? Dan the next, gener- uh, next, next generation, generation. Yeah. in 10 years, 20 years. But what years. makes you say yes to Kuala Lumpur, to walking? Maybe this effort boleh dilakukan uh, dengan cara lain with different approach different. but why walking <laughs> that's, that's this question why walking, why uh, walking? I walking feel because she's scared that I'm cycling here I wanted to do cycling uh, but yeah. she was scared that I'm One going cycling reason. in Malaysia and I don't think she will cycle uh, 100 kilometers a day mm-hmm. so I said why not we try to walk instead okay. it's maybe yep. easier yeah. for her to walk than cycling yeah One plus you can you have a lot of opportunity to go to these remote places because yeah. you're using yeah. uh, jalan lama mereka jalan kaki guna jalan lama atas faktor keselamatan tak ikut uh, lebur raya atau highway jadi ini salah satu faktor keselamatan yeah. juga tapi dapat explore lah yeah. but do you do you expect to encounter things like exploring uh, local culture yeah because uh, visa mungkin uh, visa sorry visa orang mana orang sini orang KL kan uh-huh, tapi okay. belum tentu lagi tahu budaya dekat negeri sembilan kat rasa tu sampai uh. dekat kawasan-kawasan tertentu tu macam tak tahu pula oh ada makanan macam ni especially for Roman yeah, betul. <laughs> we don't know there's a lot of food plenty of food here yeah. yeah i've been trying a lot of food already <laughs> <laughs> but untuk untuk Roman mostly yeah. untuk kenal uh, Malaysian culture more uh. mm-hmm. so what are your expectations towards this effort we would love that people uh, realize what's happening, you know, and maybe try to educate children. Mm-hmm. It would be nice that we try, if we educate children, then children will, uh, mm-hmm. will maybe tell the parents, stop throwing, you know, stop throwing your, your paper, so, your bottles and everything. Mm-hmm. Along the way, um, 
let's say you guys are going to take about 23 days. Are you yeah. guys going to upload a video like what you've always done update on your there. YouTube channel? Yeah. Or is there any social media platforms that you guys are going to update towards your followers? Yes, uh, we're going to take a day off once a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. So during this day off, I'm going to be uh, uploading uh, one video so people will know exactly where where we've been and this kind of thing so it's going to be posted on youtube on facebook and on instagram mm -hmm. and tiktok, mm -hmm. TikTok. <laughs> have you guys uh, decided uh, uh visa that decide the roman uh, route mana nak ikut yeah. for every yeah, checkpoint mana nak berhenti yeah. have you decide dekat mana jadi okay. mungkin uh, penonton yang uh, <laughs> melihat ni boleh tahu boleh tunggulah roman dengan visa <laughs> jalan depan rumah tengok ambil gambar atau tolong kutip sampah itu lebih penting uh, uh, tolong, tolong sekali, sekali. Uh, uh, dekat mana uh, apa route perjalanan okay. ni kalau ingat Okey, daripada Rasa uh -huh. sampai ke Kelumpang, uh -huh. Kelumpang, uh, Slim River, uh -huh. lepas Slim River, Tanjung Malim. <laughs> Tanjung Malim Perak. Ha? Tanjung Malim. Okey, route tu uh, kita orang akan, uh, um, macam nak cakap eh, kita orang ada hotel tu, uh -huh. so, saya akan bagi details nanti dekat uh -huh. G, ya? Yeah? Hmm. Boleh, boleh. Oh, no worries, no. Yeah. Uh, or, or maybe you can update on your social yeah, media yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, macam uh, Roman Fiza, do you, I mean, kalau kita nak merancang nak perjalanan jauh ni, kita dah kena expect kalau I drive long distance, I will expect traffic jam, mm. I will expect yeah. I'm gonna run out mm -hmm. of a fuel, mm -hmm. I'm gonna expect that I need to stop for toilet break. Mm -hmm. So do you plan dah 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 ada dah perancangan plan awal perancangan awal ini? kalau berhadapan dengan sebarang cabaran? Okey, itu challenge sebenarnya. Mm -hmm. Challenge. Uh, okey. Kalau kita orang rasa macam okeylah during our walk kan. Mm -hmm. Okey, kalau kita orang rasa, rasa macam uh, okeylah maybe tak tak ada traffic jam, mm -hmm. tapi masa kita jalan tu mungkin kita orang uh, okey selepas breakfast normally. Okey. Mm -hmm. Okey, selepas breakfast. So hopefully kita orang a uh, maintain lah tak adalah macam orang kata nak pergi ke toilet ke we have to do before breakfast lah yeah. oh, ah. <laughs> it's okay tapi tapi apa lagi cabaran-cabaran dia mungkin uh, soal keselamatan trafik yeah, sebab kalau yang yeah. lalu jalan lama a uh, monyet kera haiwan-haiwan mm -hmm. liar yeah, animals betul yeah. lihat hutan Alak. kan kita akan lalu forest mm -hmm. kan so dalam pemikiran kita orang a um, kita orang akan kita orang punya plan daripada pukul 7 pagi atau pukul 8 pagi sampai pukul 2 petang sahaja after pukul 2 kita orang tak nak jalan dah oh so untuk faktor uh, keselamatan uh -huh. uh, but right. if we talk about this uh, effort this awareness effort um, Roman, do you think it will be enough to just um, to create the much needed awareness of especially in preserving the nature do you think it's enough or i think small impact can can lead to something big you know mm. so if everyone do a little bit then it would become bigger and bigger it's a start it's a start so oh. if people following it and tell other people to do it then it's gonna become big Probably this first um, effort is going to be the two of you guys. Maybe yeah. after this, Kuala Lumpur to anywhere else? Yeah, is there any plan? Hope. Maybe to the south? To the or south? maybe to other countries. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, why not? So yeah, if we start in Malaysia and people create a movement and mm -hmm. people do this every week like we do, like every week we're collecting rubbish mm -hmm. in different places around Kuala Lumpur. And if people start doing it in different states in Malaysia, that would be that would be but, awesome. But I'm I'm interested to know how do you prepare for this? I mean, the selection of shoes that's one thing. We go uh, to a bit technical. Yeah. <laughs> kasut pun main peranan. Takkan nak pakai kasut tu main tinggi the macam Zazwani. Lagi yang gue. That's too crazy. I wear sneakers as well. <laughs> okay. So macam mana persediaan dari segi kasut? Uh, macam tadi fitness kita bercakap fitness, awal tadi yep. fitness mm. buat latihan uh, squat and and dan sebagainya. Tapi kalau berkenaan dengan technical kasut. How do you plan to collect the rubbish using your hands or you have a stick? How do you, how do you, how do you plan to do it? For, for the physical, I'm not training, like not doing a hard training. I never think about really much about the gear and everything. I just go. <laughs> On most of the trip I've done, I just go and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And after yeah. collecting rubbish, we're thinking maybe about the stick, but then we but use I the stick a lot and we saw that it's not very practical. Yeah. So we're probably going to just have gloves. Gloves, yeah. Collecting rubbish. And mm. But the question now is what are you going to, you guys, to do with the rubbish that you guys have collected? 
So the, 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 the Lanka we pure like is going to uh, follow us with the 4W and after we collecting rubbish, the car will come okay. and they're gonna, we're going to put the rubbish in. And the, recycle in the it car. and yeah. all So after they will put it in the bigger bin for us because mm. we can't carry the yeah. rubbish for yeah. 27 kilometers. <laughs> Mostly our rubbish tu kita orang akan collect uh, plastic bottles, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, things that boleh di. Yeah, we can't collect yeah. the big things, so we're gonna collect mostly plastic to show people. Recycle that, items, yeah. Yeah, recycle item, yeah. That's great. Mass. Mm. Mass, yeah, face mass. mass. Yeah. There's a uh, lot of mass. This one this uh, drive me crazy. Double <laughs> liter bus. I don't understand. Ah, uh, mungkin ada usaha selepas itu, selepas um, sampah-sampah ini telah pun dikutip, mm. dan kemudian akan dikita semula. Mungkin mm. ada um, barangan yang akan dihasilkan if that's the effort together uh, with the sponsor. Belum juga. lagi. Okay. Uh, okay, boleh dibincangkan. Ada another uh, <laughs> crazy <laughs> idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Roman uh, and uh, Visa, uh, kita sudah hampir tiba ke penghujung. Akhir sekali, uh, apa harapan dan pesanan uh, harapan untuk projek alam sekitar ini dan juga pesanan kepada uh, masyarakat Malaysia khususnya untuk uh, menjaga alam sekitar? Okay, uh, saya harap... Uh, um, During kita orang punya uh, jalan kaki ni, kerja gila ni, mm -hmm. saya harap orang uh, rakyat Malaysia akan ubah ya. Mm -hmm. Mentaliti uh, dan sikap mentality mereka. Mentaliti dan sikap uh, membuang sampah daripada kereta. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, kalau tak jumpa tuang sampah pun tak apa, simpan. Mm -hmm. Simpan dekat poket ke kan. So, bila jumpa tuang sampah, you buang lah. Yeah. Bukannya susah, mm -hmm. senang je. Mm -hmm. Kalau itu daripada sikap you sendiri. Yeah. Maybe Roman can share with us uh, your hopes towards this effort, this crazy ideas that you guys are going to do. Yeah, that people stop littering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be the big thing. Your mask. I don't understand why people throw their mask on the mm -hmm. yeah. on the street, and you sh see the mask and the cigarette butt in the drain as well. People wondering after why we have mm -hmm. floods, you know, in yeah. Kuala Lumpur and mm -hmm. stuff. If people keep throwing stuff in the drain. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Yeah. Really bad. Not complicated. You put it in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Itu adalah harapan mereka untuk kita sedar betapa pentingnya untuk kita menjaga alam sekitar ini dan pastinya dengan kerja gila ini uh, mereka mengharapkan agar kesedaran awam untuk menjaga alam sekitar ini terus uh, dijaga. Mm. Dan pastinya uh, usaha mereka untuk berjalan sejauh 530 km dari Kuala Lumpur ke Langkawi itu mungkin akan disambut baik oleh yeah. orang awam yang mungkin uh, akan menyertai mereka. Maybe there will be people that join you guys towards uh, to to Langkawi. <laughs> okay, <laughs> tapi apa pun uh, untuk anda nak menyokong usaha uh, menjaga alam sekitar ini mengutip sampah boleh uh, salurkan sumbangan anda dengan yeah. beli. Uh, coffee, buy me a coffee di laman web yang ada kalau kita lihat SS3 ataupun di iPad ni. Yeah. Eh, mm. Kita lihat inilah uh, di mana anda boleh menyalurkan sumbangan anda terhadap misi yang akan dilakukan oleh Roman dan juga Fiza berjalan kaki dari Kuala Lumpur ke Langkawi sejauh 530 km pada 8... 28, eh, bila yang akan start? 8, 8 Jun. 8, 8, 8 hari bulan 6 ini. Baik, sekian saja awal ni pagi. Saya Hakim Rahman. Saya Nawaz Syazwan. Kita jumpa lagi.